Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, um, today we're gonna redo a bathroom. Now, definitely we are not doing anything major. This is a mini, like super mini makeover. And the look I'm going for is kind of boho chic. But I kind of just wanted to show you the before and after. Now, my bathroom's a little bit different, so um, I'll, try, I'll try to do my best to make it make sense with the whole layout. Also, my bathroom is a disaster right now. Normally, I keep things pretty darn clean. I don't like things messy. I like things organized. But the last couple of weeks have just been kind of like up and down and my bathroom suffered. So the rest of my house is pretty clean, but my bathroom needs it. But I was like, you know what? I was gonna do this makeover. So I'm like, I'll just hold off. I will, because I need to do some painting. And then um, I figured I will just clean after that. So anyways, I am going to show you my bathroom. Yes, it's it's awful. It's really awful, guys. Like, almost embarrassing, but it is what it is. This is real life. And <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to probably, we're going to walk over here. And I will show you what it looks like when I walk from my bedroom. So I'm currently in my bedroom. And then we are going to flip you around. And this is the entrance into my bathroom. As you can see, it's two sections. So I have this first part over here. Um, and we have our sinks. And then back here, we have the tub. And then there's a shower over on the other side. And then we have our like walk-in closet right there. So what I'm going to do is in this area here, I'm actually not going to be doing too much um well see the thing is everything's subject to change because the paint color i got i don't fully know um what it's gonna look like and eventually i want to put um frames around these mirrors to give it some more definition but the goal is i'm using one paint color and it's going to be in both of these bath or parts of the bathroom and it's going to be a peach color now I'm hoping it's the right shade I've never painted anything peach and so it's going to be interesting to see if I can pull off the color that I envisioned in my head so this wall is going to be peach I'm going to leave um, the sides the way they are um, like I said, I want to add some frames around the mirrors, but we will see not too long ago We did change out the faucets. So I love that Yes, this is messy. My husband hates it because this is my stuff and my stuff has like slid over to his side so <laughs> Very much annoys him, but he loves me and it's all right. So um, Oh also down on the floor. I'm going to keep these rugs. I actually really really love these rugs I believe I got them at Kirkland's um, a couple of years ago And then this is gonna be a little bit more of the change So I need to wash my towels and put them in here. I am getting new rugs Well, I already have new rugs. Excuse me for right here and the one in front of the shower Someday we're going to do more of a makeover on this bathroom where we're going to pull out the shower and we're going to tile it along with, let me back up here, this tub. Um, we're going to get rid of this style and put more of just like, I don't know what they're called, but to get rid of the big bulkiness around the sides of it and make it more sleek and simple. So, but for the time being, this is what I have to work with and I am thankful for it regardless. So, okay. Let's see if I can get a good picture here because this is where a lot of the change is going to be. So this back wall, oh, bummer. Okay, so this wall right here, I'm going to be painting that peach as well. I'm going to be putting a hanging plant up here. I'm going to bring in a lot more greenery into this space. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to paint a peach wall here or here. I haven't quite decided. Like I said, I kind of need to see what it looks like. Um, it'll definitely tie in with my beautiful flower as well and with the color of my towels that I'll have going on. And 
I've got some cute things to put up on the wall. And, oh, I almost forgot one of the biggest things. So we have this light up here, very basic. I am putting a chandelier, yes, a chandelier <laughs> in my bathroom, but I'm excited for it. Um, let me turn you guys around here so I can finish up chatting. So that's the plan. Very simple. Um, I can definitely get this done in a day and my husband's around because he has to help put the light up. And and also like I should like move, like take these mirrors off um, before painting, even though I think I'm a really good painter and I could probably get away without doing that. But we'll see, I don't know. So anyways, I should be done talking. Very simple changes, but it's gonna make a huge difference and I'm gonna have before and after pictures as well. So um, you can kind of get the vibe and where I was and what I was going for. The look is boho chic a little bit. So we'll see if I can accomplish that. Okay, so the bathroom is officially finished. Um, so I started, I can't remember, sometime this morning. Yes, I look awesome right now because obviously I've been working all day. So anyway, so I started this morning and it's officially, I think around four o'clock right now. Um, but I took a couple hour break, so it didn't take me that long. And I know I didn't film a bunch of clips of me working in here because honestly, it's an awkward space and to get good angles and stuff was just hard. But anyways, let's take a look. 
So we'll come back into my bedroom and I'm going to flip you guys around. All right. So as we walk in, I'm going to try to go slower here. So obviously I've cleaned. <laughs> Um, the wall I absolutely love on camera it is going to pick up more pink but it's like a perfect kind of salmon kind of gosh I don't know it's just peachy oh it's awesome I love it a lot I ended up getting these two pictures at Hobby Lobby and it was half off so I got both of them for like $20 so those I bought new, the paint, so the lights we were keeping. So like I said, minimal change in here, but it makes such a big, big difference. Um, but yeah, so this is simple. I didn't touch anything down here, kept the same two rugs that I had in here before. Um, I did have like a white shelf in here that kind of held um, some of my products and perfumes and things and I moved that over along this wall so it's just kind of like in the back so um, being it's not so cute <laughs> so but then like I think the biggest change is when we go to the back part so first we'll start with the floor so I bought this rug new um, at Bed Bath & Beyond because it had all the colors that I was kind of going for in this bathroom and that one I just kept neutral in front of the shower um, not not too much going on back here I already had that hanging by the shower um, prior but what's new is I got that at Hobby Lobby for like ten dollars on clearance it originally was like fifty dollars and then I had the plant and this shelving unit um, I got all my towels washed I got it all filled up and and good and then this is my favorite part hopefully the camera is going to be able to focus on it okay so I painted just this one wall let me go back here and see if I can get a better angle of everything so um, I put my Epsom salt back in that container right there I added a candle I only painted this back wall um, I put a succulent up in this corner. I got the pot at um, TJ Maxx for like seven or eight dollars. And I get a lot of the hanging, like the blue part that hangs the plant. I get those at a local plant store. And so, um, very, in uh, not words, very inexpensive is what I meant to say. And I love that it ties in the blue. And then, here we go, the birds. They come in from the ceiling. Let's see if I can get a, the bigger picture. I, you guys, obviously, we're on New Life Sparrow channel here. So this is like right up my alley. I found these at Hobby Lobby for um, $3 a piece and at first I didn't know how I wanted it to flow but I love what I did honestly in person it looks incredible it looks so good um, and then yeah so I'll show you these more up close they're just wood with um, just some white detailing Absolutely love it. My pretty flowers. I'll be honest, the last one of these flowers we had in this bathroom, it died. <laughs> so, but we're trying it again. And let me see if I can show you what I have on my windowsill here. All right. So this cactus, um, it is going to be a little bit hard to see because obviously the sun, but... Um, this we had in our kitchen, so I just brought it in here along with this plant as well. So these two are real, obviously. And then this back one, I wanted to tie in more of that color. And I got this little vase with um, fake flowers at Hobby Lobby. And being I'm up here, let me see if I can show you my, my succulent. Here we go. 
more up close. So yeah, I love it because it just feels more relaxing and it brightened up the space. Like um, because of my visual component, I really need to have something um, that isn't too dark but also isn't too stark and too bright for me. I mean, our walls aren't white. They're just like a, a beige tan color, but I the balance was really, really difficult and I feel like I achieved it. I can walk in here and everything feels balanced and it feels good. I can't remember if I said it or not um, at the beginning of the video, but I originally bought like this chandelier to put up there, but after we got the birds on the walls and stuff, I felt like it took away from the birds. And so I decided not to put it up there, just keep the original light. And I'm going to put that chandelier in a different bedroom that it would look equally as awesome because it has that boho kind of feel in that room as well. So anyways, that's basically it. I love it. I love it that, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make something beautiful and pretty. And I feel like I achieved that thanks to my husband, you know, cause I needed help getting the mirrors down and stuff like that, but it was a good day project and yeah, I love it. So if you guys like these kind of videos, as always, give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.